Never let it be said that uh, we don't have commercials on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, this is what came on Facebook Marketplace as I was searching Facebook Marketplace while eating breakfast this morning on this lovely Saturday morning, February 10th, 2024. This is what I learned as I was eating breakfast. Quickest way to clear out stuck poop. Can't go? Do this to clear out stuck poop fast. On June 17th, 2019, my mom was rushed to the hospital to have a log of poop surgically removed from her colon. When she hadn't pooped in three days, the doctor told her to try prune juice, then fiber supplements, then castor oil. Then came the prescription laxatives. But when all of these failed and she was in morbid danger of toxins from her poop being reabsorbed back into her body, they went in with scalpels to excavate the impacted poop. As it turns out, she had layers and layers of stuck poop lining the walls of her colon until it completely blocked the flow of poop. And according to Dr. Gina Sam, this is not uncommon. Dr. Sam served as the director of the very prestigious Mount Sinai Gastrointestinal Motility Center for several years in New York City. She was also among the very first doctors to investigate the link between the microbiome and excess weight, and one of the very few who specialize in solving constipation for good. She says that if you're over 50, even if you're pooping every day, you could have up to 20 pounds of stuck poop lining the walls of your colon right now. And if you're pooping less than once a day, well, guess what? There's a good chance your colon looks like this right about now. And it's not because you're not getting enough fiber, water, exercise, or anything like that. See, the muscles surrounding your digestive system work by squeezing food along through the stomach in the same way you squeeze toothpaste from a tube. But when your gut isn't well, the squeezing process, called peristalsis, slows right down. This is a problem because when peristalsis is slow, undigested food doesn't have enough momentum to avoid getting stuck in the many twists, turns, and grooves of your intestines. This stuck food begins rotting away. So this undigested food is literally fermenting inside your belly, causing bloating and cramping. The problems don't stop there though. Slow peristalsis also dries out the poop inside your colon, hardening it into a literal cork that's blocking the only exit. And all the black coffee, prune juice, psyllium, gritty fiber, and laxatives on the planet aren't going to clean out all that stuck poop. That's why Dr. Sam developed what poop experts now call the seven second poop trick. A safe, fast, and incredibly effective way to shed up to 20 pounds of stuck poop without cramping, squeezing, or any urgent mad dashes for the bathroom. And she just recorded a very brief presentation explaining exactly how the seven second morning ritual can give you a safe, comfortable, and beyond satisfying poop every single morning from now on. So if you're feeling backed up, if you're feeling bloated and constipated, tap the button below this video to see Dr. Sam's seven second poop trick now. You'll be moving things along again in no time clearing stuck poop out of your bowels, and you could feel 10, 15, even 20 pounds lighter for the rest of the day. Tap the button below this video to see Dr. Sam's seven second morning ritual now. Okay. <laughs> well, never say you can't, an old dog can't learn new tricks. Uh, actually, I need to put, speaking of old dogs, uh, when was the last time you pooped, little dog? Do we need to get the seven second morning trick? Uh, old dogs. Alright, we're going to try to get this old dog to go poop while he still can. Oh my gosh.